Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new updated version of the Varla Pegasus with the new nine inch tubeless tires. And we're gonna do a comparison against the original Varla Pegasus that had the eight inch solid tires. And I gotta tell you guys, spoiler alert, this one is a way more comfortable ride and we'll get into all that in this video. But if you guys wanna get a good deal on a scooter and you watch this video, maybe watch my original Varla Pegasus video and feel that one of these scooters are right for you or even their Eagle One. I did a re review on that one as well. There will be links down in the description below and if you guys see this video before their Black Friday sale is over, they have some awesome discounts of $250 off a scooter. I think up to $450 off of their Eagle One Pro model, and you can do combination deals and all kind of other stuff, but I'll put all that information down below in the description of this video. And then once that expires, if I can get another coupon code for you guys to save some money, make sure you guys check it out down there because I'll add that as well. And if you do use those links, it will help support this channel at no extra cost to you. And I want to thank you guys in advance. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so now let's see how the brand new updated Varla Pegasus performs. Now with these nine inch tires, I gotta tell you guys already right off the bat, I can notice a huge difference in cornering when you're turning. Once you get over a certain angle on the old one, that sharp edge on the tires would wanna throw you. This one, the suspension feels slightly smoother, even though it looks exactly the same, the suspension feels a little smoother and these tubeless tires are definitely a lot smoother of a ride. When you hit rocks and small bumps, it takes a lot of those bumps out, whereas the old solid tire was nice because you couldn't get flats. It was a lot stiffer of a ride. This thing, you can turn and get it over to a, a sharper angle when you're turning and it doesn't want to throw you. So that's the first huge difference that I noted or noticed. Now on the last, like I said on the last one, if you'd get to an angle like this, it would want to throw you back this way. And I'll show you some footage of that here on my test ride of the original Pegasus that I reviewed. And I'll leave a link up in the description here in the video or down below where you guys can watch that full review. And you'll be able to see a little bit more of what I was talking about. Great scooter overall, had tons of fun on the original one. You just had to be cautious going around turns like this too sharp so that it didn't throw you. These tires make a huge difference, guys. And this scooter is super fun. So now let's see what kind of speed we can hit on the new Pegasus and see if it lives up to, I believe that it was like 29 miles an hour I got on the old one. So here we go, we're in dual motor mode, PAS3. Looks like 25. 26, 27, and if I had a little bit more stretch there, I'm pretty sure I would have been able to hit 28 easily. Let's go back the other way. 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So, 28 miles per hour, which is what they say that it's supposed to hit. So right on the money with that. Super fast, super cool. Definitely a lot funner to ride than the old version with the solid tires. This thing just rips around so easily. Now the steering on this thing does have a built-in dampener, so it is a little bit hard to turn the handlebars, which is gonna be really nice for riding at high speeds because you don't have to worry about handlebar wobble like this like you did on the Eagle One once you got up to a very high speed. And it seems to dampen it nice and keep it nice and straight. Now, if you're going very slow at slow speeds like, like this and trying to turn, you do have to get a little bit used to it because it is a little bit hard to maneuver if you're going at slower speeds. But on fast speed riding, guys, like, I don't know, 15 miles an hour and above, that dampener is really nice built into the steering on this scooter. I had to get used to the first one. Uh, when, the, when the first one I got had the dampener in it, I didn't like it at first, but now I realize they're really nice at, at uh, full speed riding. Oh yeah, suspension's a lot nicer. I don't know if it's those tubeless tires that are filled with the air that gives you that little bit more cushion or the bigger tires, 
or maybe the suspension was just a little bit better on this one but it's a lot nicer guys one thing i want to mention is that you can see if you hit the throttle on this it's not like super responsive off the start now you can go in the settings and change that however they do state in a manual not to change it so do this at your own risk guys but if you hold the plus and negative button down here you can go into your p settings if you go up to p12 like i said they tell you not to change this this is the start strength and it i believe it came on two i actually set it to three but you could bump this thing up to five and i'll show you the difference do this at your own risk like i said guys be safe uh they recommend not to do this but ooh, that throttle's touchy now it definitely has a lot more pickup <laughs> when you set it on five there you could you could feel it wanting to throw you back slightly so really nice oh yeah let's try to hit that jump there oh yeah really smooth guys really smooth so yeah with those new nine inch air filled tubeless tires and just it being i don't know what it is guys but it's definitely a lot lot nicer of a ride than the eight inch version so if you guys do end up getting one of these if you feel like this scooter is right for you if it was me i would opt for the nine inch tubeless tires the main reason being because it doesn't have that sharp edge and when you're cornering it doesn't seem like it wants to throw you so i think part of the reason why it's a little bit smoother of a ride is because on the c style suspension here and on the swing arm it's longer to accommodate the bigger tire so you have a little bit longer there and i think that plays a good part in why the suspension seems a little bit smoother on this ride than the original one very nice and comfortable ride guys can't say enough about the new tires here This scooter still does not have regenerative braking. That's the only thing that I think would make this scooter top notch is if it had some kind of regen braking and you didn't have to rely on those brake pads to stop this 66 pound scooter when you're going like 28 miles an hour. I always like the regen feature just because you can tap the brake and it slow you down without using those brake pads. This scooter does not have that feature and it would have been nice to see on it. The old one didn't have it either. Maybe that's something that they can update in the future. And to get in the single motor mode, if you hold down the down button, just like on their original version where it says speed, if it only says speed, that's just the rear motor. And if it says speed max, that means it's in dual motor. And you can see when it's in single motor, it's a lot more tame. Put it in max. A lot more pickup. All right, so you guys can see that the new Pegasus handled a lot better than their original one. It's really hard to see in the video, but like I said, go watch the original one and then check out me cornering, mostly the cornering in this one, and you'll see the difference. So let's go over all the specs and features and see exactly what is different on this brand new version of the Pegasus. So the first noticeable difference you'll see is the nine inch tubeless tires versus the eight inch solid tires. and with those tires it does make the deck height on the new one sit up about an inch higher than the old pegasus and you can also see that it makes it about three inches longer this way because they had to use longer swing arms on the new version on the front and the back versus on the old one how they're shorter so you will have about a three inch longer wheelbase overall the deck length is exactly the same on both scooters and on the new one the handlebar height does sit up about an inch or so higher than the old one so you will have a little bit higher handlebars because the whole scooter itself sits up a little bit higher the braking on the new one looks a little bit different it's using a set of jak super brakes i think that says here versus the old brake on this one now the old one does look a lot cooler being the way that it's like anodized red versus the black but i believe the new style has better braking ability because it seems like the pads are a little bit bigger and they do include an extra set of pads whenever you get this and also an extra deck hook which is actually upgraded on this new version which is really nice to see because the old deck hook was a little bit flimsy and would always come off because it would come out of this hole here but this one you could see it's just a lot thicker and the way it actually loops through there kind of like a chain ring there's 
I don't think there's really any way that's going to come out versus how it just clamped together on the old style. So really nice to see that they updated that and it does include that. Now on the new version, it does have a little bit of a riser here underneath the fenders. They had to do that to get the fenders up higher for the bigger tires. As you can see there, the fenders originally bolted down to the uh, swing arm there on the back. Same on the front, they have the little spacer there versus on the old one, how it's just mounted flush. And you can see these, these are definitely a lot longer and I feel like that does help out with stability and smoothness of the ride. The second huge upgrade in my opinion is how the handlebar stem latches. And on the original one, you can see here, if you just push this, that's all you have to do to unlock this and fold that down. The problem with that was, and if you've seen my original video, how I talked about this, when you would put this strap over top of this to secure this, it would push that red button in and essentially unlatch that. Now it wouldn't fold down because the Velcro was on it, but I felt like that was a flaw and needed updated. And they did take my advice and update that here on the new one so that you actually have to lift this up and the Velcro actually holds that down I mean, it latches, but instead of the Velcro going over top of this, the Velcro actually sets above this and you can't lift this up without removing this Velcro and the Velcro does not release this latch when it's, when it's tight. So really nice upgrade there for safety so that that latch doesn't come down. Really nice to see that they updated that. For suspension, it's using the same C-style suspension on both scooters. You can see it has the same shock on the front on the new one as it does on the old one. And the same in the rear of the scooter, it's using the same shock here as it is on the old one. Now, I felt like the suspension was a little lacking on the old one. And the suspension, like I said earlier, looks to be exactly the same as far as the shock goes. But I do believe it might be because that swing arm's longer that it makes it a more cushiony ride. And also the tubeless aired tires, which gives you a little bit of cushion there as well versus the smaller eight inch solid tires. Definitely a lot nicer over gravel and a lot more comfortable. You could see on the old swing arm on the front, it's about eight and a quarter inches long. And on the new one, it's about nine and a quarter inches long. Another thing I noticed is the way that the front wheels bolt on, it looks like a nicer nut here that goes on versus just a nut that's open and exposed here. A little bit cleaner look there. Keep them threads nice, same as on the back. They use the same nut on the back. That was a nice little upgrade to keep all your threads and everything clean and it looks nicer. And the new Pegasus does still have dual 500 watt motors, one in the front, one in the rear. However, they do look a little bit different the way that obviously they had to go with a nine inch tire so they had to go with a different rim performance wise seems to be about the same as the original one as far as power and speed goes still have the nice rubberized deck kickstand on this side in the front all the wiring and everything looks the same in the back how it goes over nice to see i never like to see the wiring underneath you risk uh, clipping it and damaging it nice to see how it's routed over top like that same lights on the back for the tail light and the brake light and the same headlight on the front as the old scooter. Up here on the handlebars and the controls, everything is the same on the new one as it is on the old one. You still have the M5 display, same controls, same bell, throttle, hand grips, everything is exactly the same up there. Really nice and bright M5 display, easy to read, easy to see. Now the wiring does look a little bit different. They do have it wrapped a little nicer on the old one here versus the wrapping on the new one but you could see that you can easily get to all your connectors on the new one versus on the old one that there really was no uh, connections up here there was one here but your brake connectors and all that were maybe either somewhere down in here or maybe they went all the way down to the motor not quite sure but you can easily unconnect anything you need to up here being that this stuff is a little bit more accessible if you need to get to it uh, that might be a benefit as well. And you can see there's a connector here as well on the new one on the wiring versus on the old one, how it was just all the way down into the, probably into the controller there. So a little bit more connections on the new one, easier to maintenance if you ever had to. And it is using the same 120 millimeter rotors on both the front and the rear of the new scooter, the same as the old. Now, like I said, neither one of these scooters have regenerative braking. That would have been really nice to see in the new version. Maybe they'll update something in the future to give you some kind of regen braking so you're not relying on the mechanical disc brakes. With that being said, these brakes do work pretty good. 
but I really like to see regenerative braking so you could save pad life and not have to change as many pads over the life of the vehicle here because that regenerative braking, you just touch the brake lever and it just slows you down without even having to get into the brake pads on these. So maybe that's something they can upgrade in the future. Keep fingers crossed maybe because that's a nice feature to have. And the new Varla Pegasus does come with a two amp charger, the same charger as the original Pegasus. And it does have one charge port here on the side, same as the original. Now, when I first got the original Pegasus, I was very excited because I seen the wide tires on it and thought, man, that thing looks so cool. And that would be good on say gravel or like loose terrain, how it had a wider footprint. Now, with that being said, it does have less of a radius on that tire. And when I measure it, it's about three and an eighth inches wide or so. If you look at the new one, it does look thinner, but it's really not much thinner. If you go across the whole width of the tire, where the radius is, I'm getting maybe three inches, maybe just a hair under. So we're only talking about maybe an eighth inch, maybe three sixteenths inch narrower, but still a nice big wide tire on the front of there. Now both the old and the new still use the 48 volt 15.6 amp hour battery. And when I weighed both of them on my scale, they both weigh 66 pounds. So I don't know how they got the larger swing arm and the bigger tires and kept the weight the same, but that is nice to see that it didn't add any additional weight to the new one. And just to recap real quick, the main differences are the larger nine inch tubeless tires, the new locking mechanism on the stem, the updated deck hook, and a little bit smoother of a rad. So in my opinion, guys, those are some nice upgrades. And if you feel like one of these scooters are right for you, like I said, there will be an affiliate link down below in the description. If you guys do use that link, I appreciate it because it helps support the channel at no extra cost to you. And do not forget to use the coupon codes. Whatever code is down there, I'll try to keep them updated and recent. Let me know if they quit working and I'll try to see what I can do about getting those reinstated. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you get notified of future videos. And I will see you guys around on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Whew.